Charette project with bamboo mud and waste for a guest house at Dialba Center in Amrissa. This is a unique project in which all the stakeholders interacted directly with each other and participated equally in both the design and the construction process, including the interiors. The project helped in raising awareness at the community level on the importance of bamboo and was crucial in kick-starting the bamboo courses at Amrissa campus. The guest house was built using bamboo walls, bamboo columns, and recycled materials like mud, bricks and steel bars from demolished buildings on the site. The local community got involved passionately and helped with the construction, on site. The entire process was carried out in a dynamic manner, viz design, check feasibility, aesthetics, material availability, training, execute, so that the challenging deadline of just 18 days could be met. The guest house layout was designed according to the overall master plan keeping in mind the approach to guest house, maximizing the use of natural light and prevailing wind direction. No disturbance was done to the existing slope on site and the existing plantations. Work commenced with the marking and digging of the trench for foundation. Bamboos were procured from the local bamboo market to reduce the embodied energy. The 4-inch and 2-inch thick bamboos were subjected to boric borax treatment for 24 hours while other materials required for construction were procured. The excavation of the trench was completed and PCC work commenced. The community workshop was spearheaded by CGBMT experts and artisans, lecturers, dean, staff and students of D. I. Marissa campus, along with local residents and masons, carpenters and laborers, textile designer, interior designer and women from local village. The site was leveled for the column foundation. Simultaneously, the bamboos were taken out and left for drying. And then it was buffed and cut into splits for preparing the mesh for cement plaster. The PCC work was completed and work commenced for laying a foundation pad for bamboo columns to stand. Casting of the form work for columns above PCC continued while bamboo artisans prepared the bamboo and chicken mesh framework for reinforcing the bamboo grid wall panels. DEI faculty guided the workers during the construction. A DPC bed was placed on the first guest room. The DPC work was completed and the bamboo columns were fixed to the MS pipe with thread bolt in order to hold the wall panels. Bamboo columns were fixed to the wall panels with MS rods and the casting of the bamboo crete wall commenced. Wooden lintel beams were fixed at 7 feet. As the work on the bamboo crete walls neared completion, work on the ramp and lotus pond started. The community doctor happled in procuring the materials and also assembling the roof frame. The outer walls were plastered with lime to prevent termite attack on the bamboos. Simultaneously, work on bamboo furniture by artisan continued. The outer walls were coated with one coat of lime and three coats of mud. Surprisingly plastering work which was done by community women was faster than the masons. It was done to promote and preserve the knowledge of community people. The plaster work started with a prayer by group of community ladies. Beading on eco board was completed while the Mangalore tiles were laid simultaneously along with it. Three layers of mud and lime finish were applied on the walls by women's along with doctor's wife and daughter. The floor on the guest rooms as well as the flooring in sit-out area was finished with mud and cow dung plaster. Additionally, the beading work and application of lime plaster continued. The tiling work for the kitchen and bathrooms were completed. Plastering of plinth and walls with lime plaster was completed. Mud plaster in all the outer walls continued and tiling and day doing of all bathrooms are completed with yellow oxide. Work on the mud flooring for front veranda and guest room continued. Meanwhile, 
plumbing and electrical work were completed by DEI teachers and students. Lotus pods were planted in the lotus pond by community peoples and the landscape was finished by reusing local bricks and debris from old buildings. Wall paintings by local community women on the interior walls of the guest house. All furniture and interior design elements were done in bamboo by the bamboo artisans. The result of this intensive and parallel design detail on site construction approach was a structure which was as energy efficient as it was beautiful. Solar energy system with two trackers was installed for 100% energy requirement, except for air conditioning. No artificial daylighting and ventilation is required. Use of 100 years old recycled bricks with the foundation was procured from existing site. The roof slope was designed to direct the water run off from roof into the designated landscape element to contain the water. The success of this project is reflective of the progress of the model in solving the supply and demand connection, as it brought together all stakeholders from policy makers to artisans a working model of human resource generation in the bamboo sector.